thanks everyone for being here tonight. No, there's, there's one thing in life we can't get back and that's time. So look, thank you for giving up I think, three hours of your time tonight. No, just joking. <laughs> look, tonight we're, we're just we're broaching on subject matters that you know, we don't often get a chance to, to delve into in, in everyday life. You know, that we look at the three T's that cause subluxation or cause nerve interference and that's traumas, toxins and thoughts. And obviously the thoughts plays a really big role in the way the body functions and the way our body heals. Motion causes emotion. And as I look around tonight, there's a few people starting to glaze over a little bit. So what we're going to do, we're going to change your physiology, we're going to change your state. So we're going to do some power breathing. So what I'm going to get everyone to do, I'm going to get you to, I'm going to give you an example and show what we're going to do. We're going to get you sitting up, nice and tall, nice and upright. So we're going to change your posture. We're going to have your hands <laughs> out in your legs. And what we're going to do, we're going to activate your major muscle of respiration and that's your diaphragm. And the way we're going to do that, we're going to do power breathing. So I'm going to get the body fully circulated. So what I want you to do, I'm going to get you to inhale through the nose and then forcefully, forcefully exhale out through your mouth. We're going to do that 10 times. So let's start off. Into the mouth. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Beautiful. What a rush. People pay money for that, could you believe? It's not a rush. And look, free of charge. And what does it do? It gets you fully inhalated, it gets the circulation through your body, it makes you feel great. Now, daily affirmations. If, if, we, if we set a course, if we set a daily affirmation, what does it do? If, if, if a man knows not what harbour he seeks, then any wind becomes the right wind. So having that daily affirmation at the start of the day, what does it do? It sets a firm course. We know we're heading for the day. We've already started the day in a very positive note. Since a very early age, I always sort of taught my father to, to have certain affirmations, and that's really helped me to create the first lamb today. And, it was just simple ones like I can and I will, whether it came from a sporting environment when he was pushing me out there, throwing me in, in the ruck or you know, out on the cricket pitch when there was a fast bowler coming and trying to rip my head off. He said, come on, you can and you will, you're going to make 100 today. And I always went out there with that, that positive thought process in mind to do that. And the, the one that I recite to myself every day is the one on the top there where it's I'll persist until I succeed. I was not born into this world and to defeat, nor does failure cross through my veins. I'm not a sheep waiting to be prodded by my shepherd. I'm a lion, I refuse to walk, to talk, to sleep with the sheep. The slaughterhouse of failure is not my destiny. I'll persist until I succeed. That's something that just, it rears me up. When I wake up in the morning, it's the first thing I say to myself, and I know the day's gonna be a great day from that point onwards, because I've already started my physiology and my, my mind processes in the best state. There are various things that determine the quality of life and happiness and our thought processes and positive thinking are a big part of that. So our thought processes really dictate our emotions. But find that time to exercise because we know motion equals emotion. So if we get up the chance to move, then that's also going to change our state as well. Now, using the right words at the right time, you know, we often can fall into the trap and saying things like hard, you know, it was a really hard day, or I've got a really busy day at work tomorrow. And I find myself always pulling up on myself and using the right words. By using words, it's a challenge, you know. Today was a challenge, or tomorrow's going to be a challenge, or is it going to be hard, you know what? It's going to be a challenge, and I've got no doubt if I persist, I'll succeed. So, I want you to walk away tonight with this, this quote in mind. I am consciously focusing my dominant thoughts upon my dreams and aspirations. Now, with those thoughts in mind, you know, you've got to have a great day tomorrow. Now, here at Bonfire, we have an hour and a half open eye meditation. You know, so it's not only yoga, it's also meditation, which incorporates breathing exercises, which has phenomenal aspects for improving the life, improving the way your body functions, and also improving joint functions and overall hormonal control. So this form of yoga that we're lucky enough to have at Bonfire is fantastic for the way it changes your physiology and the way it changes your mental state. It really clears that stinking and thinking and moves you towards thinking and thinking. You have that posture where your body's in the best position, so you're having full chest expansion, also getting full expansion of slow lungs. What does it do? It helps your mental state, helps your thoughts, helps your emotions as well. What happens when we start to go to an abnormal position, an abnormal posture, what it does, it starts to stretch our spinal cord, so that's to put more pressure on joints and tissues, and makes it so that the brain isn't communicating with the body as well as it should. And if we, we think of the brain as 
you know, a tap that's turned on full on all the time. So it's always flowing, it's always full. What we look for is those little misalignments of the spine, like the kinks in the hose. In this position here, it really puts the body in an abnormal position. It starts to put more pressure on those nerves and leads to subluxation. So in this state, what it's doing, we're decreasing the oxygenation to our brain, affecting that arc of life, leading to more cause for those kinks in the hose and making sure that those communications to your muscles and tissues isn't, isn't functioning as well as it should. There's a beautiful vertebra in our body. It sits right at the top part of our neck there. It's called the atlas. You may have heard me and Dr. Yellenby talk about the atlas, and we often call the atlas what's also known as is the master switch. So the atlas is a master controller. It dates back to sort of Greek mythology where it's also known as the mouth of God. Now, the atlas has a unique involvement with the brainstem, and if there's some misalignment at the atlas, and it's pressing on the brain stem, we know the brain stem, and that's obviously right up the top part of your neck, can affect a broad range of functions. So if there's problems up through the top part of your neck, it can affect everything. That's why we always come in and we always check to make sure that there's no misalignments at the atlas, because we know that viral areas in the top part of our neck play such an important role. You know, we've got friends, we've got colleagues who, who may not have had the chance to have their spine checked, and while we're here is, is obviously communicating thoughts and emotions, but obviously, learning more about our spine. It would be great for the opportunity for your friends, colleagues or neighbours to also do the same. So not only you're giving them the chance to make sure they're healthy and that their spine and their, their nervous system is functioning the best. That makes you feel great because you've looked after them, releasing some serotonin in the same process, you know. So we never know how far reaching something we may think, say or do today will affect the lives of millions tomorrow. Now, the man who said that is a fellow called BJ Palmer. Now, BJ Palmer is the founder of chiropractic. Now, he's a pretty, pretty cool fella. So, look, who knows the things that you may say to someone tomorrow, like, have you, have you ever had your spine check? If someone you know isn't feeling the best, then they, that, all it takes is a few different words. Isn't it? Maybe it might be worth just to see how your nervous system is functioning, see if you know, a course of care can, can help with what's going on in their life. Look, it's easy as moving well, eating well, thinking well and as Tiger does, he stays well adjusted. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you again guys for being here tonight. I hope you got something out of it and we look forward to spending some time again in the future. So, thank you.